Hi, this is Krishna Teja and you are with Packet Code. So today let's learn how do we set up a web server in DigitalOcean. So you can go to digitalocean.com. So if you're registering for the first time, there's a free tire. You get $100 and you can use their services free of cost for about two months. I already have the account, so let me sign in. As you log in, you come to a dashboard where you will see that you can create something like a droplet, a cluster database volume and so on. The, the server is basically the droplets. So each droplet is a new server. So let's create one server from scratch. So it prompts you with different versions of the operating system you can use. Let me go with Ubuntu and it has the different server configurations and the pricing. Let me go with the basic one, okay, which is 1 GB, 25 GB SSD and 100 GB, sorry, 1000 GB transfer. Then it will ask you for the data center. So you can pick up anyone and I'm from India. So I'll be using Bangalore and the authentication mode. You can go with SSH or one time password. One time password is slightly easy. So let me go with this and create the droplet. So it will take a minute to create that particular configuration. So we are going with Ubuntu uh, 1 GB of RAM and 25 GB SSD. All right. Once the service configured, you will receive a mail from DigitalOcean with the password. So we have to wait for that. Now the service is up. You can clearly see there is a IP address assigned and you can go to your mail and you you'll be seeing that your new droplet is created. There's a username and there's a password. So using this IP address, you can actually uh, log into the server. So I'll go to my terminal. I'll use SSH. And if you look at here, the username is root. So root at the rate, the IP address, then click enter. So type yes, then it will prompt you for the password. So let me copy the password from here. Yeah. For the first time, it will ask you to change the password. So let's change that. Let me enter my new password. All right. The next thing is we need to set up a HTTP server. For this, I'll be using Nginx. So I've already written certain commands. So it's easy for you to install the server. Okay. The first one is you need to update all the services. So let's update. Okay. It's updated now. Then we can use this particular command sudo apt get then install nginx it will say that it will take certain disk space yes i'm okay with it and it will install the nginx the next thing is like uh, you need to allow the http so first see what are the services which are already bundled so you can list out the services and you can see that there's a full http or you can go with https or open ssh so I want HTTP. So I would like to allow that. Yeah, it's updated. Now let's check the status. You can see that the server is running. All right. So if you go to the web browser and if you type the, the IP address, so where's the IP address? So this is the IP address, copy the IP address. And you can see that the web server is actually working. So this is a default HTML page. Now, what are the page you will be putting over there that will be visible over there. Now, the next thing is I don't want my users to type in the IP address. I want to assign a domain so that once they type the domain name, it should actually open this particular page. So for that, you should have a domain. 
and using big rock i already have a domain name so i'll be using krishna teja in any of the domain providers there is an option to edit your name service and i've already connected it to my digital ocean name server so as a type krishna teja dot in it will redirect to digital ocean the next thing is i also need to tell my server that when you get a request from krishna teja dot in basically you open this particular page for that you need to configure the network domains now let me not disturb the uh, root domain let me to take a sub domain let's say i take sample dot krishna teja dot in and i can add the domain so by this what we are saying is if somebody types sample dot krishna teja dot in redirect it to digital ocean that means now once it comes to the digital ocean we need to redirect it to the the host computer so what i'll do is so every sample dot krishna teja dot in should actually come to this particular server ubuntu 1c 1 uh, cp and so on and so on so so once you add this it's actually coming to there the first part is done we are telling that sample dot krishna teja dot in has to come to this particular ip address that's basically our uh, server now inside the server we also need to configure it to a particular folder all right so that's the second step is to set up the domain okay for this i'll create a file okay if you can see touch is basically to create inside etc that's a configuration file enginex available sites and i'm putting sample dot krishna teja dot in dot conf oh there's a mistake c o n f yeah now we have created the configuration file the next thing is to edit the file so nano is an editor so as you click you see an empty file now i already created the server block let me copy this and let me paste it over here now let's understand this so what is this listen 80 so any request which comes to this address with a port number 80 that's a http request you can take any address with http and if the domain name is sample.krishnateja.in or www.sample.krishnateja.in go to a root folder called var www html so point it to this particular folder and which files are uh, allowed to open either index or index.html or index.html and if you come out with any other url if it's not in this then throw a 404 error so this is clear so let's save this all right now you need to check if there are any errors so you see that the syntax of the configuration file is okay and the test is successful now let's reload the server and if i go to sample dot krishna teja dot in it basically opens that particular page so that is how you create a host then install the nginx and then connect a domain in the next video we'll see how do we deploy a particular website into this page